Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen. Hope you're doing really well. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this stuff right here. Axe. Dark Temptation Face and Body Soap. So I picked this up for four bucks for four bars. So a dollar per bar, that is really cheap. I mean, technically you can get cheaper, but still really cheap. In this video, I'm going to show you the packaging, the soap, all of that, and also talk about this wonderful, fantastic, amazing product and why you should definitely 100% buy this. So let's jump into the video. So first off, let's go over how this is packaged. Now I found this at TJ Maxx, but I also saw it at Marshall's. Like I said, four bucks, four bars of soap. They come all packaged together. So this is how the packaging looks when you find it in store. Once you go ahead and open that up, you're going to find four individually boxed boxes of soap. And they actually look pretty good. They look better than I thought they would. I thought they were going to be in just plain white packaging, you know, plain white boxes, but they're not. So that's nice little attention to detail. So here's a look at the box, a little close up, you know, each side of the box, how it looks and then the bar of soap itself. Now take a good look at that bar. I have used that bar of soap for three days now. So three days, and this is what it looks like as of right now. So here it is, a little before and after. Again, three days of use and not heavy use. It's not like I was doing multiple showers per day. So that's what it looks like now. And oh look, the ax is gone. Very sad, very depressing. I'll go ahead and open one of these up so I can show you guys a before and after just right in front of you. So here we go. Before, after. And again, three days of use. That is how they look. So I guess just some really quick thoughts on the whole packaging and everything. Like I said, the boxes, I think these look fine. They have kind of a metallic look to them. They're reflective. They look pretty good. And for a $1 bar of soap, couldn't really ask for much more. These bars of soap are three and a half ounces each, 100 grams. So they're a little bit on the smaller side, especially if you're used to using those really big eight ounce bars. These do fit in the hand really well, as you can see right there, easy peasy. Now the bar itself looks cheap. This looks like crap. It looks and it feels like plastic. And you can see really clearly this sort of line that goes all the way around the bar of soap. Basically just like two little pieces were fused together to make this piece and then ax was stamped on either side. So there it is right there. And that was on the other bar as well. It's on each one of the bars and you can clearly see it go all the way around. So in the hand, this feels like plastic. It looks like plastic and uh, frankly, it just looks cheap. And then you give it a smell and it smells cheap. Really, Dark Temptation, not so much. Dark Temptation is one of Axe's most popular scents, both in body wash and body spray and really anything that they can throw it onto. If you're unfamiliar with the scent profile, it mainly focuses on dark chocolate, but there's a lot of other stuff going on with it. There's cherry in Dark Temptation, there's pear, there's whipped cream, there's amber, there's vanilla. So there's a lot of different stuff going on as far as the official note breakdown goes for Dark Temptation. And when I say that, I'm talking mainly, I guess, about the body spray. But you would expect at least to be able to pick up something from this, chocolate, vanilla, some spice, maybe even a tiny touch of fruit or something, just something. Nah, nah. When you smell this, it just smells like a cheap, cheap, cheap chemical soap. So the first time I smelled this, I was like, mm, yeah, I don't think that's gonna be very good. You know, it feels like trash in the hand, smells like trash. And you can tell they didn't really put a whole bunch of effort into this. But still, I was like, maybe, maybe, once you get in the shower and you soap yourself up, maybe that scent kind of comes out of nowhere, <laughs> you know? It, it magically, you know, the water hits the bar and whoo, suddenly you get dark chocolate and vanilla and yeah, that doesn't happen. The first couple times I used the bar of soap, 
Uh, it didn't really lather up very well at all. You kind of have to stand right underneath the water and, and rub and rub and rub, and then eventually it will start to lather up. And where this is a black bar of soap, the lather has a black coloration to it. Not really a big deal, but kind of interesting because you're trying to wash yourself with this soap and then it's just like black all over the place. And nothing ever really comes out of this scent profile wise. What you smell here, that's what you get. Just really, really piss poor, chemically soap smelling nothingness. It smells like a $1 bar of soap. No, really it smells like a 25 cent bar of soap. If I call it a $1 bar of soap, Giving it too much, giving it too much credit there. Definitely not. But as if all that wasn't good enough, the scent profile, the plasticky feel, the cheapness, the small stature of the bar, it also dries your skin out. So that's great. When you use this bar and then you lather up and you soap up and you rinse off the soap, every single little bit of moisture from your skin goes with it. So you can take your finger after you've rinsed off and try to run it along your skin and it will just kind of scoot along your skin like that because there is no moisture left. It is a dry, barren wasteland. So, moisturizing, no, not at all. Really, the only thing this has going for it is it has a name that people recognize, Axe and it's under five bucks for four bars. And then the box is okay. So that's something. Other than that, this stuff sucks. This is straight garbage. It's um, not pleasant to use. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't moisturize. It looks cheap. It runs out pretty quickly. I mean, this stuff is no bueno. And I know I busted on the lather a bit. I mean, you can use this with a loofah or a washcloth and, and get some more lather going that way. But frankly, this stuff you shouldn't even be using. So uh, who cares? Axe Dark Temptation Face and Body Wash Soap from TJ Maxx Marshalls, four bucks, four bars. Don't buy this. This stuff is absolute garbage. They had other um, flavors, other scents of acts there other than Dark Temptation. I went with this one because I know that a lot of people really like it. It's horrid. It even says on the front, dark chocolate scent. Yeah, not so much. A lot of people like the body wash. If you like the body wash, keep up with that. Don't do this. This right here, this is just complete trash. And that is where it deserves to be in the freaking trash. Don't buy it. It sucks, period. Nothing else to say about it. So there we go, Axe Dark Temptation Face and Body Soap. It's, uh, it's the worst soap I've used in a really, 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 really long time. A really long time. I've got some Old Spice soap that I bought not long ago. I'm gonna start using that, see how that is. It cannot possibly be worse than this. If you smelled this one or used this one or any other Axe body soaps, let me know what you think about them. It's, it's possible maybe that they have better soaps that don't make it to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'm not sure about that. I'll, I'll check it out next time I'm in a store. I'll see if there are other ones that look like they have different packaging. And if they do, I'll check those out. But this one right here, as it comes, what I've shown you here, the, the four pack, stay away from it. This stuff sucks. This is basically what uh, a guy in college who has absolutely no money, who's surviving on ramen noodles, might buy and hope and hope and pray that it's going to smell decent. And then he gets it, he's just depressed. And I guess I should have brought this up before, but I'm gonna say it really quickly as I wrap this up. It does not leave any kind of lingering scent on your skin. I mean, there's no scent to begin with other than chemical soap, but it doesn't stay on your skin. So maybe that's a positive. All right, like I said, if you smelled this, use this, whatever, let me know what you think about it in the comments. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance or soap video. Don't buy this stuff. Don't do it. See you guys.